Hello and welcome to New Blue Effects Tips and Techniques. I'm Todor Fay with New Blue. Today I'm pleased to show you how to use Spotlight, part of our Video Essentials 3 collection. Much as a real spotlight shines attention on the subject, Spotlight provides a versatile way to focus attention using color, light, and more to direct the viewer's eye. Today we'll walk through some scenes from a wedding and see how we can use Spotlight to add a bit of beauty and drama to our footage. Let's start with this shot of the bride and her father walking down the aisle. There's nothing wrong with this, but it would be nice to focus our attention on the two of them. And if we can take it one step further and subtly enhance the story so there's something magic about these two relative to the rest of the shot, then that would be nice. But it has to be subtle and not call attention to itself. We start by putting Spotlight on the clip. As with all new blue effects, there's a ton of great presets, so we could start by stepping through these until we find something close to what we want, and then fine-tune from there. But in the interest of showing you all the details, let's start with a clean slate. We select the Reset to None preset. Before we continue, I should quickly explain how Spotlight works. Spotlight separates the image into two regions. The inner region is the oval spotlight. The outer region is the background outside the spotlight. Spotlight provides controls for setting up the shape and position of the spotlight oval, and then controls for setting the lighting behavior of the spotlight and background regions. The lighting behavior includes control of color, brightness, clarity, and even blur. So, in the simplest example, you might create a spotlight that is brighter than the background. But we don't want this to look like the center of a circus. We want something more subtle. We start by creating the spotlight shape. So that we can see the shape, let's make the spotlight and background distinctly different. This is easily done by turning spotlight brightness all the way up. Now, move the center control to fit on top of them. Adjust the size. Feather controls the softness of the blend between spotlight and background. Set that to give us a gentle transition between the two. Now, let's get to work on the spotlight area. Turn up the color control slightly. This increases the saturation so the colors are more vibrant. It's easy to overdo, so we're careful. Then turn up the clarity control. Clarity crushes the blacks and whites so the image becomes better defined. As with color, we turn it up, but with care, because it's easy to overdo. I think that's it with the spotlight region. Now we need to move to the background and see what we can do to make it a little less interesting to draw attention away from it. Start by turning down the brightness. Not enough to make it look like the lights are dimmed, but enough to create a gentle contrast. Then let's do the inverse with color. Turn it down to make the colors muted. If we take it all the way down, it becomes black and white, which can be aesthetically powerful. But in this case, we don't want it in your face. So we turn it down about a third of the way, and this just makes it less interesting. And that's it. Here's what it looks like before and after. Of course, we might decide to make this a lot more obvious, and we can do so simply by dropping the brightness and color in the background even more. I realize that was a lot of show and tell, but once you cut out all the talk, what we simply did was A. We set the spotlight shape to cover the father and daughter. B. Turn up the color and clarity in the spotlight. And C. Turn down the brightness and color in the background. That's it. Let's move on to the ceremony. Looking at this shot, I'm suddenly overcome with a mad inspiration to put it in a vignette. I can do that with spotlight too. Again, start with a clean slate with the reset to none preset. Turn up the background tint so we can easily see the shape of the spotlight. The spotlight center is exactly where we want it, but we want an oval, not a circle. So, use the angle control to stretch the spotlight into a wide oval that fits the frame rectangle. But that's not all. We'd like to blur the vignette frame. Conveniently, the blur control in the background does just that. And if we'd like the vignette border to be a different color, we can just change the tint value. Speaking of vignettes, Spotlight can also turn the Spotlight image into an overlay and place it over any background image. For example, we use it to create this shot of the bride and groom, miniaturized and placed with these flowers. I'm not sure that this makes any sense in the wedding story, but it gives me a chance to show you something cool. We start with this shot and drop Spotlight onto it. This time, click on the Transparent Background button. The entire background is now transparent, so whatever video clip is behind this shines through. Now, drag the angle control down so we have a vertical ellipse. Move the center and bring in the size to make it fit. Then turn out the feather so we have a gentle fade into the background. Not bad. Really, we should put this on the cake. Let's finish by doing something too obvious with this tool. Let's use it to simulate a real spotlight. This shot of the first dance is completely lacking in drama. It seems like this that real spotlights must have been invented for. We need to project a strong light onto the dancing couple and throw the rest of the room into relative darkness. 
And here's how we do it. Turn down the brightness in the background so we can then adjust the spotlight to fit over the couple. Now let's give them a little extra light. Turn up brightness. Turn clarity all the way up. This simulates the glare of that light. Tweak the color up slightly to make it a little more vibrant. Now to the background. Leave brightness all the way down. We want it dark. Then we use tint to make it even darker. Use the eyedropper to select a dark brown in the picture. Since it's a dark color, we turn up the tint to plunge the background into this deep shade. We don't have to turn it very far to get what we want. Now, use the color control to take a little color out of this. Finally, give it a gentle blur to literally take our focus off the background and concentrate it on the dancers. Let's view what we've done. Before. After. Before. After. Pretty effective. Well, there you have it. Spotlight provides a versatile way to highlight your subjects using color, light, and focus to direct the viewer's eye. For more information on Spotlight and New Blue Video Essentials 3, visit our website at www.newblueeffects.com where you'll also find many more tutorials in our Tips and Techniques library. Thanks for joining us and learning a bit more about New Blue Effects. Competitively priced, aesthetically fresh, and ridiculously easy to use.